Hey everybody, Cashew here. Today, our adventure brings us to downtown Cincinnati to the Fire Museum of Greater Cincinnati. This is a great place that shows you the history of firefighting as well as teaching you some facts that are useful to your own safety. Our story starts here. And just as a side note, that's the courthouse. Here's the exterior of the building. And here's one of the pigs they decorated like a Dalmatian. And you can actually slide down the fire pole. And these are photos of some of the chiefs of the past. And these are fire buckets that are actually made out of leather. And this is a reproduction of a hand pumper. And this is an example of what it would look like. And this was one of the earliest ways they sounded alarms for fires. First was this drum. And then this horn. Early laws actually required citizens to become part of the fire brigade. And if they didn't, there was a fine of $5. This is a drawing of Mrs. Alexander Drake. She was an actress and she was performing at the Columbia Theater when a fire broke out. And though women were not required to serve on the fire brigade, she insisted on helping out. And this is an early example of pipes used to help funnel the water. More examples of the tools they used. And this was a box they used to vote on issues. A black marble meant that they were against an issue and a white marble meant they were for an issue. And here's early examples of some of their fire helmets. Here's a display that shows all the patches from the various fire departments from around the country. You wouldn't think Alcatraz Island had a fire department, but they did. It seems like Yosemite Sam is a popular character for firefighters. The museum isn't just exhibits, they also try to teach fire safety. This is a good excuse to declutter your house. And here's their mock-up of a house inside. It has the kitchen. And here's good advice on how to get out of a window in case of a fire. And here are some models of the fire trucks from days past.
know there's a lot of glare, but maybe you can see this old photo of the early days of firefighting. This sign tells how Cincinnati lost its title of Queen City due to the expanding of the West and cities like Chicago expanding quicker than Cincinnati. And then they became known as Porkopolis because the pork industry centered around Cincinnati. That also explains why they had a pig painted like a Dalmatian in the front. Here's a hand engine from 1889. When you think about it, it's pretty remarkable that these engines survived all these years. Here's an example of one of their old metal spiral staircases. If you ever see an old building that's falling apart, usually the spiral staircase is still stable. The museum has done an excellent job of bringing all of these artifacts together and to put it in a refurbished firehouse is even better. And here's a collection of some of their old lanterns they used. This shows some of the items that would be in their locker. This is a scene from 1895, and this is from 1882. Here's some more of the equipment they used. Well, that was eye-opening. Not only did I learn about the history of Cincinnati firefighting, but I also learned about fire safety. And for me, I think what really drove home was the fact that here are people who will actually run into danger just to make us safe. I was talking to a friend of mine who's a firefighter, and he was telling me about all the different types of cancers that firefighters can get. So if you know of a first responder, thank them for what they do. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button down below. Also, click the bell icon and it will notify you when I have a new video released. If you really like the video, please click the thumbs up button. And if you'd like to contribute to my adventures, I have down below in the description box how you can contribute to my Patreon page. So until next time, this is Cashew, signing off.